YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, it's your boy Pat Coltrane. What's up with you, baby Bubba? I said, baby Bubba, or oh, what's up with you? Your boy back. Um, I need the camera real quick, man, and really let my supporters, my family know, you know what I mean, where I've been at. Because I was only going for a week, but it seemed like a whole bunch of stuff happened, man. And it seemed like a whole, it seemed like longer than that. And I'm gonna tell y'all why in a minute. But I had to take a little break, y'all. Usually when I take y'all, you've been rocking me for a long time. Y'all know I take breaks from time to time. If something should come up, I let y'all know. Um, but this time, man, to be honest with y'all, man, be transparent. I needed to take a mental break, y'all. Like for real, for real. Um, and I, and I'm, lately for me, it's been about mental health. This video not about the Panthers. Um, you know what? He had cared about the Panthers too. Shoot, because I needed a mental break for them. But I need to take a little mental break. And if y'all know me, for those who know me, I'm all about, you know, mental health, man. Like, you got to take care of not just your body, but your mind, man. And I really needed to take some time off uh, from social media, from YouTube. I actually logged off all of my social media from my phone. I almost deactivated all my accounts, man. That's how bad it was for me, man. Because I just felt like this ain't healthy, yo. Like waking up every morning, reading everybody's thoughts, man. I talked about this before, but reading everybody's thoughts first thing in the morning, all day, every day. And I know a lot of people, they they are good at that. Like they can, it don't bother them. But for a lot of folks like me, I'm like, man, this ain't good. Listen to everybody's opinions. Like, this is how people become bipolar right here. I'm joking. And bipolar is not a joking matter. But um, I just felt like it was just all becoming too much, man. Not only that, when you're dealing with real life issues, and I don't even mean like something serious happened. I just mean like you got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you got to do, you got to go to work. You got to get kids ready for school. You know what I mean? Like, you got to cook dinner. You know what I mean? So I ain't talking about nothing serious because nothing serious happened. But just regular old adulting. When you're dealing with that and then on top of social media, it just, I felt like it was becoming too much for me. And I just take needed to take a break. I didn't, you know, I didn't deactivate my channel or any of my social media. But I did log off and I really challenged myself not to get on or, you know, uh, challenge myself not to get on or involve myself in social media and just really just clear my mind and y'all let me tell y'all something real quick about that man how do anybody get the news if you're not on facebook and not on twitter none of that how do you get the news y'all ain't nobody told look when when i was gone when i missed the cam newton release right my sister-in-law somebody don't even watch football had to tell me and i ain't even found out until the next day I was like, what? I was so tempted to hop on Twitter and say something. But I couldn't. I had to stay strong. Ain't nobody told me Lee Williams had passed away. <laughs> if y'all know who Lee Williams is, that's the gospel singer. But I was shocked. I'm like, how do people get the news? How do people get the news? Sorry about all the shaking, y'all. I'm going over all these bumps. But I was like, how do people get the news, man, with all without social media? So I was missing all kinds of news. I try to watch regular news, but that's not a hit or there. I ain't going to go into all that. Um, but I really didn't need to take a break, y'all. And um, I didn't delete my videos because um, my plan was really to just, you know, kind of start dialing it back because y'all know for a long time, I've been well, not for a long time, the past few years, I've been saying, hey, this might be it. And after thinking about it, um, this will be my last season doing strictly Carolina Panther videos. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna still be on this channel. If I decide to do something, um, it might be on another channel, but this will be my last season doing strictly Carolina Panther videos, man. Uh, when I first started this channel, and of course it's the Pat Cole train channel. So it was really me trying to get into like, you know, thinking I could do the YouTube thing like everybody else was doing. And if you, if you followed me early on, I was doing some of everything. I was doing like little skits. I had little characters. If y'all remember Tap, you know what I'm saying? And I had the blogs. So I was trying to do a little bit of everything. And it's just the Carolina Panther talk, even though it was all Carolina Panther, you know, driven. The Carolina Panther talk is really what hit. And I kind of stuck with it. 
But now it's for me, I like doing it, you know, and I'm just being real with y'all. I like doing it and it's fun and stuff, but now it's like, I want to do something else. You know what I mean? So uh, this will be my last season doing strictly Carolina Panther videos. If I decide to start another channel, of course, I'll talk about the Panthers from uh, every now and again. But man, it's like I got a lot more things I want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about. And y'all notice whenever whenever I'm on my live and stuff. I just kind of go off subject. You know, it ain't just about Panthers. I like talking about food. I like talking about places I've been. I like hearing where people been and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And not to say that I'll be good at it. I just feel like I'd rather use my platform to do what I want to do. Um, I never got into this to try to be the biggest Panther fan. I never got into this to even, I ain't never want to work for the Panthers or none of that. Um, I got it it's just to, you know, show people, you know, give people my, uh, who I am and whoever, you know, whoever watch, I thought it'd be dope. Um, so, uh, I am good, y'all. I first and foremost, I just want to thank everybody. I want to thank everybody, man. Like once I logged back on, I saw folks saying, Hey, Pat, we're going to be here. Like, man, that meant so much to me. Y'all Y'all just don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'd be acting like a gangster. I know some of y'all think I'm triple OG gangster, but I'm a softy, man. I'm super sensitive, though. I'm super duper sensitive. So when I saw that, it really touched me. And I appreciate everybody who's been supporting me all these years. <clears throat> I ain't going nowhere. Um, I just had to do a quick reset. But I am. Uh, this, I do plan on this being my last season, like, in this type of form. Not to say I won't ever talk about, about the Panthers, but it won't just be strictly the panthers you know what i'm saying like it, it'll be way more man. you know what i'm saying it'll be way more way way more um so sorry about all the shaking but um that's pretty much it y'all again thank y'all this this won't be the last time i talk about this we're gonna talk about this a few times even in my lives <clears throat> i'm gonna just give y'all uh my plans and what i plan on doing in the future uh with my channel or where i plan on going um even y'all can give me some ideas um, but you know, we'll be back. We'll be back. I just wanted to give y'all that, man. Again, thank y'all so much, man. I love y'all for real, for real, from the bottom of my heart, man. Um, join me tomorrow, Wednesday night at seven o'clock at the train stop. Your boy gonna be there. You hear me? We got some stuff to talk about. It's football season. It is football season. I told you I wasn't gonna miss week one. I told y'all I wasn't gonna miss week one. All right, I'm gone.